and we're back with the interview section where we get to share a lot of influential people and also tell us more about their life and also their journey. So today, it's a very beautiful, a very, very intelligent lady, and I'm very glad to invite you to the studios today with Martin as well. Hey, Pamela. Hi. How are you doing? Fine. How have you been? How has the journey been so far? Because we've been seeing there is a video of you training around and uh, definitely telling us about how you're going to represent Rwanda. Tell us more about exactly what exactly are you going to represent Rwanda in, mm -hmm. and what is that competition all about? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the competition is called Zuri African Queen, and it's going to take place in Zimbabwe, and uh, it's uh, it's all about culture and leadership things and. Uh, I'm leaving in, on 26th October mm -hmm. and coming back on 3rd November, just one week for boot camp. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So does Zuri get to work with the, the, the Made in Rwanda that we always see around? No. It's, it's a different it's aspect. A different one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they definitely deal with culture and fashion or? Yeah, culture, fashion, the, the, le just like the, you have, you have the, the, the principles just like for the Miss Randa, the oh. brains, beauty, culture, mm -hmm. okay. and the uh, leadership, yeah, things like that. Wow. Yeah. So uh, what, what gave you the confidence to, to say that you're capable of representing Randa in such a, uh, a competition for Africa? Oh, uh, at first I, I didn't know I could, I could go for Randa, you know, so yeah. they just proposed me and uh, gave me the requirements and I had to confirm and see if I can do it, so that's how. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how has the journey been, especially uh, when we look at the fact that you also participated in Nyaminga mm -hmm. also, how, how, how has been the toil, the, the journey so mm -hmm. far, definitely by the time it ended, how has it been productive, the fact that you, you took place in Miss Randa? Are there some opportunities that you got that definitely show that even though you don't become the actual Miss Randa, there are also some opportunities that Such you get. Such as this one. Mm -hmm. There are many opportunities, like for example, like Martina said, this one, and the platform, you know, the job opportunities and, you know, very many things, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Wow, I really, I really like the fact that um, you don't give up on what you believe. So don't you, don't you go around the streets and people notice you and they keep giving you compliments because I mean you're beautiful oh, and. Oh, it's very beautiful. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. yes. Sometimes they it do. Gets eh? to you. Does it get to you or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it does. Yeah. So yes. Just like we said, she's taking part in the Zuri. Uh, African Queen, which is definitely going to be representing. And here is a video that has been trending around. Probably you're seeing her very beautiful without the head wrap that she had in the video. And <laughs> you don't know who she is now, but then you could see the video and tell who Pamela is. Hello everyone. My name is Uwicheza Pamela and I will be representing Rwanda during a competition called Zuri African Queen. I am humbly asking all Rwandans that when the voting time comes, you should vote for me because if you vote for me, you will be voting for the whole Rwanda. Pray for me as well. Thank you. Definitely. You deserve that crown yes. so far as a Marseille. Yeah, yes. of course. And we can't wait. We're going to support you. By the way, guys, when the time reaches, like you heard on uh, on the video, you need to vote for her and you need to make sure that uh, which is a Pamela brings back the crown to our country because that's what we do as Rwandans. We support our own. Definitely. Yeah. So, Pamela, what advice would you give to the young ladies out there who are definitely watching us on the show and you want to also encourage them to be part of who uh, you've become and as well as also look up to you as a source of inspiration what can you give to the young ladies out there the young ladies my little sisters I can tell them to be confident to love themselves to to love their passion you know to follow their dreams and to chase their dreams because it will make them go far and uh, be humble pray and work hard Wow, <laughs> that is very inspirational. I know, yeah. definitely. But just to take you back for the Miss Randa, what was the keynote thing that you learned from there? Yeah. Um, firstly, is uh, public speaking. Yeah. Secondly, is uh, working in team, working together, helping each other, uh, 
being confident, you know. Uh, another thing is, uh, is helping each other. Yeah. yeah, always looking out for each other. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. wow, thank you so much for sharing your insight. Thank you so much for giving out that advice to the young sisters out there. And of course, we're behind you. We're going to keep the support. And when you come back with a crown, you have to come back here and show the people out there who voted for you how know, well you did. Yes. I know, and we wish you all the best. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, yeah. guys, we're with Pamela Wichesa, and she definitely got to tell us many things about herself.